All right, so this is a video, the short video about my app. Uh, we use the, or at least I did, I use the Iconic or Ionic framework. Uh, so Ionic works from PowerShell. And I think the CD into my app, which is, okay, cool. Bam. And then from here, you Ionic serve. Ionic serve opens it up into uh, a browser in order for the app to actually work and function. If you hear that jet in the background, that is just my PC wanting to brick itself. Um, so here's the about page. Uh, it's about, it gives a little about about the app, then about about me real quick. Um, in all honesty, I'm going to be upfront about this. Um, I did follow a tutorial to do one portion of the app, but for another portion of the app, I straight up just did my own research and actually coded that part myself. Um, so the main functionality is a little photo. It's a little photo gallery app. You take a picture. Um, here, we'll start this like this. We'll take a picture right here. Take a couple. Well, my hands are from my face. So it takes a picture and it saves it to this gallery. Um, these other pictures are pictures I took earlier, but I don't know why I can't find them. Another one of my group members, he had the same idea and he kind of did the same thing. And he couldn't find out where they were. Apparently they were like deeply hidden in, in, the, in the file system. But what it does is it takes pictures, saves it to a gallery, but I also added the functionality of a picture idea sort of thing where you can uh, add your ideas to this list and it puts a little list out here for the user. So let's say, let's say if somebody wants to be like creative or something and they have ideas, they could just save them here. Like take photo under the stars and then you submit the idea. It pr prints out a little list. Um, take photo near waterfall and all that. So it just saves it to a list, essentially. Um, all That's pretty much all this app does. It takes a picture, saves a picture to the gallery from someone's phone. Um, cool thing about this is it's dynamic, apparently. You can take pictures like from the computer's camera like this, or you can also, whenever it detects like a phone, it'll take pictures with the phone. As well as, you know, having a user save their ideas for sort of pictures they want to take, like photo under a bridge, and then submit the idea, bam, saves user input. Um, the code, let's see if I can actually open up, cool. So the code, there's some HTML, all that junk, but this is already on the GitHub for it. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Here's the photo service API that I had to sort of, you know, import to get the photo functionality. And then tabs three, here's the uh, adding the input to an array of ideas that saves it and prints it back out to the user in the app. And yeah, that's basically the whole functionality of the app. And then control C to quit the app. It's a little finicky sometimes, there we go. And then the app closes right here. Yeah, see, it closes very well. And then that's a little short video of my app.